<clears throat> Hello there. Um, I bought this uh, lens at the flea market a few days ago. Uh, this is a DIY lens baby, uh, aka uh, a lens with uh, some kind of bellows uh, in between the lens and the mount. And this can be used to make a makeshift uh, tilt and uh, and to some uh, some degree shift lens. And this is an uh, was an M forty two Zenith lens and Helios forty four f two point oh lens with a focal length of fifty five millimeters. And it was adapted to Micro Four Thirds. And I am going to modify this DIY thing to fit a uh, um, Sony E mount, aka Nex or Sony Alpha 7 mount. And I've already kind of disassembled this lens and I'm just holding it together right now. And now that's now that's in focus i will show you the parts so this was an um, m39 to micro four thirds mount adapter that is like a, a m39 screw mount lenses and this one had an uh, um, flange distance of uh, 28 28.8 millimeters and micro four thirds has a flange distance of uh, 19.25 millimeters. So this thing is just uh, 9.5 or something millimeters long. We don't need it anymore. So there was an, a metal ring. We don't need it. Uh, on the other side, we have the lens. Uh, the, the aperture is without clicks and it's kind of in reverse. You see the dot here. Now it's it's open aperture by the numbers, but it's closed. So yeah, we don't need that. There is an O-ring. I don't know if we need it. This is a press ring. I don't need. And this is the, the bellows. I've already cut off two of the five uh, segments because I want to adapt it to M42 and then use an M42 to um, a Sony e mount adapter. I could have used uh, this turned down um, M42 to e mount adapter that was exactly that piece but just shortened. That would have been somewhat correct length so that we would have been able to use uh, the five segments so to have a little bit more range, but I want to make it uh, M42, so we don't need that. Um, and mm, what I want to do now is glue the lens to the adapter and then use a 3D printed adapter uh, with an M42 thread that screws in here and to glue that on there on this part I also have an alignment ring that will fit over the rear element of the lens and fit exactly in here so that it's, that it's somewhat that the center of the lens is somewhat aligned to the M42 thread. Um, I guess I will start with this part here that has uh, it's also 3D printed and that's just uh, that fits over here and I will glue this part to the lens and then this part to here so that's it, that it's just aligned. Uh, I think I will start with gluing that onto here. Um, I'm not really sure if I will be able to glue it somewhat consistently. Uh, hmm, hmm. 
I think I have to fast forward over this part. I think I will start with a little tap of green. And then let's see. If I put this in here and hold it for a while, then it should be somewhat aligned. I can use activator spray to speed this up. Okay, yeah, that's holding. So I will add more glue. Now let's see if this turn, turns out the way I want it. Ah, uh, by the way, I'm using super glue, which normally bonds really well to PLA. Uh, that's what I've used to print this adapter and also to rubber. And this looks like it's been super glued as well. Next step is gluing in the lens. Hmm. I am somewhat afraid to ruin it, but I guess there's no way around it. Um, how do I do that now? Hmm. I guess I just add super glue. Here. Maybe not into the screw here. And then just maybe add some here. Okay. This activator is pretty good at running into the tiniest of cracks, so gaps, I mean. Um, wow, that looks okay. Okay, so now we need to mount this in this direction. And to mount it concentric, I will add this ring here. And then this should be concentric and then I can remove this ring again so that we have a little bit of movement to shift the image. Not much, but it's just a it's just a gimmick lens. Okay, so I think I just go ahead and oh yeah. The glue doesn't stick very well. Maybe the rubber is oily or something. Oh, let's see. Okay. didn't work at all. No, it worked a little bit. So, uh, I need to let that evaporate. And then we, oh, wow. <laughs> okay, that was a fail. 
So I need a way to keep this up in a way. Um, how do I do that? Um, let's do it like we did on the other side. Just glue one side. And then I will press up here. Uh, this has been glued, okay. Now let's do the opposing side. Hold it. I think then I can remove the this uh, orientation ring. And then add glue and let it run in this gap and then press down on it. Mm, here goes nothing. Okay, continue on this side. Ah, okay, it works this way as well. And since it's oriented already, I can press down on it without shifting it. Okay. Yeah, it moves a bit. And also what's, what's also important, I can't press it in too deep to uh, move it inside the camera and uh, damage the shutter of the sensor. Okay. Um, let's clean it from the residue of the activator spray. Okay, you don't turn the ring, but you turn the lens and the aperture is somewhat fixed. Yeah, I will post some pictures. Thanks for watching. Bye.